Hey guys, RC Anime here. There's a lot to take in when we talk about how anime appeals to us visually. Sometimes we mean the art direction or the color grading. Other times we just like how the characters look, how they feel alive in the setting and look when interacting with each other. Because when, as a kid, I thought animation was, they were real, you know. I had never thought that somebody was actually uh, doing them, you know, like uh, drawing by drawing, creating uh, the characters. It's not something we give much conscious thought about, but character design is actually one of the most critical aspects to how good an anime can visually be. Because characters aren't just drawn to look cool, moe, or attractive. There's a lot more to the art than just appearance. I design off of the script. You know, you get notes from the director and they kind of say what they like, what they don't like, where they want you to take it. One of the things that's important about character designs is how they affect the mechanics of animation. Once you're done with that and they cast the actor in the role, usually the animators will go in and look at their acting and, and kind of the subtlety in their facial features and things like that and kind of work that into the character a little bit more. Manga wa manga toshite yomeba ii. Some designs are made for fluid movements, whereas others look better when they're more stationary. And designs that are too complex or simple for the intended tone can cause a significant amount of problems, like forcing Grand Blue Fantasy to get delayed because its designs are too heavily rigid for animating. The main goal of a design is to allow it to be versatile where it can fit multiple styles depending on who's animating it. And because of this, sometimes the characters can look inconsistent from episode to episode. Since each one has a different animation director, and each cut has a different animator. This is why most character designers are the chief animation directors as well. An AD who patrols and corrects the animation of every episode to maintain some level of consistency. So even when Naoya Wada and Toshiyuki Inoue are animating a cut in the same episode, their different designs don't affect the characters too much. Some actually play with the standard, and instead of going for consistency, they look for stuff like comedy and polarity. Like how Konosuba's AD doesn't correct most cuts to give it a wacky Looney Tunes-esque feel. Or something similar like how Mako is animated in Kill a Kill. This is where styles and character designs come into play, trying to figure out how to make each of the characters visually coincide with not just their own personalities, but along with the general tone. ヒスパニックもいるし、まあ、ジャパニーズ系もいたり、そういったキャラクターに合わせてヒーロースーツのデザインをするべきだと。あの、ま、カツラ先生ご自身があのヒーローに対する造形が深いし、ま、ロックバ
some of whom can be detected with a single glance, like Akio Watanabe or Yukiko Horiguchi. But what they have to take into account is how well would the show be animated? Which is why my favorite designs are the ones that flow perfectly between heavily animated cuts and the more passive ones. Like my Yonayama's work in Kiznaiver, working off of Miwa's original designs. So this is Miwa Shiro's first design. Um, it's Nico and uh, her, she was quite tall in the original designs. <laughs> During pre-production, Kiznaiver's tone transformed a lot. One of the early ideas for the show was to have it be a battle anime. However, director Kobayashi wanted to change the story into a drama, leaving Yonayama to shift the show's aesthetic. And that's really the main job of a designer, because sometimes the changes aren't made for animation, but to emphasize elements in the story itself like Yonayama turning Katsuhiro's original concept with red hair to white, or rebooting an old franchise like Pokemon with a brand new look, offering more modern ways to show character expressions and Pokemon battles in Sun and Moon. This is the world of character designing, and anime would be impossible without it. Not because we need characters in our stories, but also because of how they can affect the story, based on not only their appearance, but their abilities to move in a way that fits in the universe of their anime. <gasps>